She wasn't likely to have children of her own, and that was one of the saddest realizations she's ever had. Children required a husband, and marriage seemed like a pipe dream. Now, I think I said, I can relate, Sophie. <laughs> Like, damn. <laughs> Speak the truth. Speak the truth. She's, Speak the truth. she's like 20 at that point. Right. Yeah. Um. Hello. Hi. I'm Kristen. And I'm Spencer. And this is Fizz and Fiction. Woo! Mixing some fizz with some fiction. Love it. Here for it. Love it. Love it. Mm-hmm. So today... We are talking about the third yep. installment of the Bridgerton series, An Offer from a Gentleman, also known as Benedict's Book. Benedict's Story. Love it. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to be talking about. Um, I mean, brief synopsis is, I mean, it's following Bridger, uh, Benedict's love story. If you're familiar with the Bridgerton you series, know, yeah. each book follows one of the siblings, one of the eight siblings? Eight, yeah. That's how many kids. Um, he is son number two, you can tell because he's a B, and B. they are named alphabetically. Yes. But he is book number three. Yep, Daphne gets her time to shine in She does, she's like, she's like, I'm here. Because all the men are like, I'm not getting married. <laughs> like, fuck this. Um, so yeah, so he's book three, but child two. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. yeah, it follows his love story. With some of his family a little sprinkled yeah. in. Um, but yeah, so it's basically uh, his Benedict's, story. Benedict's book. How would you rate this? I know you love this one. I love this one. And I would, like, I'll be just saying, none of the British books are five stars for me. No. <laughs> so. No. I will say her writing gets better. In, like, oh, it does. The first book? Hard. Yeah. It was hard. Yeah. Like, it was, it was, no, it they, does. They get better. Each book gets better. Yeah. I would agree. Which is like kudos to Julie Julia yeah. Quinn. You gotta keep learning. Yeah. Um But yeah, they get better. Even Anthony's book was just the writing wasn't like to me. Like I still like the story in that one. Still like one of my top yeah. ones, but like the writing was just I'd give it a three five. This one three five? I'd give it a four. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, none of them are five stars. <laughs> it's not. It's fine. Yeah. We know what they are. <laughs> I can like a book and recommend it and not give it a five stars. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So if you haven't read it, ship on out of here. Bye. And come back um, as you make your way through the series because we're going to go through all of them. Um, and join us later after you have read it. Okay. I'm Jean. Let's get into it. Let's do it. My first thing is I'm here for the Cinderella retelling. <laughs> I mean, I love a good retelling. Yeah. And let me just say, I I, don't, I think that's, like, one thing that I... Because Cinderella was my favorite. Really? Was my favorite Disney movie. Oh, well, I didn't up. know that. Yeah. I loved it. I loved the music in it. Like, I liked the older animation. Uh, not that I don't like the newer stuff, but, like, it was just so classic. I preferred it over Snow White. Snow White. Oh, I hate it. Snow, Snow White's the worst of them all. Snow White, to me, was just, like, kind of cringe, and her voice was so high-pitched, and I was just like... I was like, Ugh. no, yeah, yeah. I, like I, I couldn't even tell you the last time I watched the original Snow White. It's like not one I rewatch. I don't even own that one. But I, I will like. rewatch the hell out of Cinderella or the, any of the adaptations. Ever after, like the Cinderella with Lily James and um, Richard Madden. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, A Cinderella story with Hilary Duff. Obviously, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> classic. Um, the the Brandy one. I love oh, the the Brandy so one with Whitney Houston. Like all of them, I so love them good. all. Yeah. Um. So Cinderella to me is just like if you're gonna make that your like your foundation. I'm it's a classic it. story. It really is. It's a classic story. And it's just like it is from very rags to riches, and I like it. And you know, I I also want to say like just like side note, like I get very much like. With the Featherington family, mm -hmm. they do kind of treat her like a Cinderella sometimes too. Penelope, yes, and, like I agree. the two sisters, yeah. and like the mom. Mm -hmm. Like if you told me that they weren't, like if they weren't related, I'd be like, yeah, they treat her like crap. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be like, that tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. That's fair. That's a it's very interesting dynamic. But yeah, I I wrote, I do love Cinderella. Yeah. Um, my first time though, because I was reading the recap, she's only nineteen. They 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 get so young. they get like started early in all these they books. Do. It's like oh you're sixteen, marriage mark for you. Yeah. <laughs> like mm -hmm. oh you're twenty and you're not married yet. What are oh, you doing? They. What yeah. are you doing? Yeah. It's wild and it's such a, like a different. Well, like I mean like time period. Well, you're, well, you were saying the other day it's like the lifespans weren't. Yeah. You're not living to ninety like you are now. Probably. You're probably solidly living to fifty. 
to yeah. 60. You might die in childbirth. Yeah. Yeah. That was a big thing. Big thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's like, it's, it's like as soon as you had your period, it was like, open her up. Yeah. Marriage mark. She's good to She's go. She's ready. She ready. She got those birth and hips. Yeah. Let's go. For real. Um, her stepmom's a piece. Yes. Don't like her. So basically, I read the synopsis that I'll just say, like, the beginning of it, her, she gets sent to live with, like, this Earl and his wife, and then he dies, which is what becomes the, it's not like you're officially your stepmom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a bastard as well. Yeah. Well, I don't think they would tell you that until the end, it seems like. No, no, no. That she knows. She does know. She's his steward. Remember, she, like, um, she, like, has brought her grandmother, drops her off at this house, mm -hmm. leaves a note. And it's like, this is your daughter. Because he had, like, she was the, like, I can't remember what her, who I can't remember who her mom was. Her mom died. Her grandmother mm. drops her off, leaves a note, this your child. And he keeps her there. Okay. In this country house. And she's his steward. Like, he gives, I mean, he gives her education and stuff. Yeah. He, like, okay. he gives her education. Like, she has, like, a, um. Does she, like, did they, did he tell her then? Like, he they he never says you're my daughter, mm -hmm. but but it's like just un it's like known okay because okay. she looks just like him. oh okay she looks just like him but gotcha. he never like acknowledges, acknowledges it, it. Okay. which is like shitty yeah <laughs> and then he gets married yes brings the girl they bring them brings them to the country house it's the wife and the two two daughters and that's where they meet her for the first they time. meet her. He's like, this is my student. She's like, I don't even know what to do because he's. She's like, I know I'm his daughter, but is, how's he gonna introduce me? And so I can't even remember how he introduces her. I think he might just say steward kind of mm. thing. And then the stepmom looks at her, takes one look at her, and it's like clocks it. You're his bastard, because <laughs> uh, she looks just like him. Mm -hmm. And that's when it's like, she's just like uh, mean to her. Yeah, she's mean to her. She's classic Cinderella story. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's how that um, goes down. And mm -hmm. then. I do will say, because she's raised with the girls, um, and I did like how in they in this one, like in how in Ever After, like in that adaptation, they make one of the sisters nice. Mm -hmm. I like that. Because it's just like, give one of them a heart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even though she like, doesn't really have a backbone, but like at least make one but, of them like, kind of nice. And usually if you're in a household like, where the stepmom's mean, like you're scared of her too. So, it's true. Like, it like it's not. She's mean to everybody. Yeah, yeah. It's not like she's just, just for her most mean. mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So they. So he dies. He dies. Yep. Yep. But it said that like he for he like forced her to keep her or something, right? He in his will. Okay. He was like, you if you can get this much a year from like my estate. Which was like, you know, ten whatever it was, yeah. however many pounds a year for my estate, if you keep Sophie, okay, in your like, employment, in your yeah, and like you still have her like taking lessons mm. with the girls, and like you, like I think he even was like she she has a dowry, yeah, and it's a plot point later, I think. Yeah. yeah, and so he's like you get this amount if you keep her if you keep her and like make sure she's taken mm -hmm. care of and make sure she gets married off yeah because she is my daughter yeah um and then she doesn't like tell sophie that of course not she's a bitch she's a bitch she doesn't tell sophie that she's like she's like i'll keep you she's basically like i'll keep you you know out of the goodness of my heart but you have to work for me and then she turns her basically into a slave yeah she doesn't like, but oh, and the guy the, in his will, he said if you don't keep her, you only get this amount. Yeah. Much. So it's like to the whoever's you know dealing out the money, it's like oh, we kept her, give me this much yeah, allowance. Yeah. But she's really, I mean, she like houses her. She doesn't pay her. Yeah. She's not getting paid no. a living wage or any kind of wage. Um, so yeah, she's just like basically a slave in the house. Mm. Um, and then that's when. Um, there's, masquerade. There's the masquerade. The Bridgerton masquerade. The which sounds so fun. Violet Bridgerton's birthday. Like that's how we should celebrate our birthdays. Right. Like a giant masquerade at my country house. I know. You're all invited. Exactly. I'm <laughs> like I would invite people that I don't even normally talk to that much yes. just to like fill it For up. For funsies. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Like that is like one, um, like, dream that I have is that 
not necessarily like a masquerade, but like having just like a huge fucking house. Because mm -hmm. you know, in like the all these, room. yes, in all these movies, you always see these people have these like lavish like Christmas or like New Year's parties oh. where they're all in like formal wear, but they're in their house. Yeah. But there's enough room for yeah, everybody yeah. in their house, and they have like you know a little like string quartet. Yeah. Like, that sounds so awesome. I mean, you could get a ballroom and just like use it for other things throughout the year. That's not unreasonable. All right. It yeah. should be. No. But <laughs> yeah, we should celebrate your birthday yes. that way. So they have invited. You know the the nobles, the of nobles. the land. Yeah, everybody's invited, and um, Violet's a nice lady. Violet's a, yeah, and she wants. And Sophie wants to go. Of course. Yeah, and I can't remember. I don't even think she mentions. I don't feel like she doesn't even mention it, or maybe she does mention it. Um, because it's like there. She's about to be of the age where she's on, on like the marriage mark. Oh, okay, okay. Um, like out in society. Yeah, and then um, the mother's like. Well, you're not, like, you're not going because I need you to polish my shoes. <laughs> she locks her in the closet. Oh, my God. She literally locks her in the closet. Very Cinderella. Yeah. Um, How does she get out? Like one of the maids. Oh, okay. That seems right. And then she wears, um, I can't remember what dress she wears, but she wears her shoes. She oh. wear she, she no she wears a stepmom shoes. Oh yeah no she wears a stepmom shoes. She's gonna recognize us, isn't she? So she wears a stepmom shoes and um, she a mask of course. Oh uh, yeah, a mask of course. And she goes to the masquerade mm -hmm. where um, you see some of the other characters like flutter like fluttered in, mm -hmm. um, like Penelope's there and all this kind of stuff and um, she runs into Benedict. Yeah, he like sees her from across the room, that kind of thing, and then they like go have a private moment on like a balcony. Oh, inappropriate! Yeah, and the maids are like, "You have to come back by midnight because that'll give you enough time. Like the carriage can go there uh, and back. Yeah, 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 to get back to get them because they're like they're gonna be partying until two. I'm like, dang. Jeez. And that is like a question I have is like, how late do these parties go? You don't have any responsibilities. Like, you don't have me anywhere the next no, day. No, it's like, you can be as hungry as you want. It's wild. It is. That's the life. Yeah, because she was literally like, okay, I'm going to get you at midnight so I can go back for them at, like, 2. I'm like, that's, mm -hmm. that's, that is wild. It is. Um, and it's, like, it's funny because, well, what's funny is that some of them are just drinking that lemonade. I'm like, how are y'all not drinking anything harder? Like, yeah. like, some of the younger girls. Yeah. I'm like, I wouldn't be able to stay up. No. I'd There's be no able caffeine in No. I would make some tea. Yeah. I would need that or alcohol. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I wouldn't be able to make it. I'd be like, it's bad. That's true. Um, so she goes and she has, like, that moment with Benedict. Mm -hmm. And then they, like, falling in love in this, like, you know, having this conversation. And then I forget what all they talk about. Mm -hmm. Um... She doesn't tell him, obviously, she doesn't tell him who she is. No. But he probably, is, he, I think he assumes she's of nobility because it's yeah. her mom, his mom's party. Yeah. Doesn't give him any kind of a name. Mm -hmm. Um, and then they're, you know, they're off doing whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't even think they, I don't think they kiss. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I, from what I remember. And then they, um, and it obviously clock struck at midnight. She's gotta go. She gotta go. She gotta go. She doesn't lose a slipper. No slippers are lost. That's good. That's her mom, her grandma, her stepmoms. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think she leave, there's nothing left behind. I think you said there was a glove left behind. Is that right? I, that's the synopsis said. Oh, yeah. Then that makes sense. Like, you're not going to be able to identify. Oh, no. They do. They said that it has, like, her <gasps> family logo on it. Yes. It has the emblem on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Yes. Okay. You're right. Yeah. So the glove is left behind. She makes it home. Mm hmm. Um, Benedict has the glove and he goes to his mom and is like, what does this mean? <laughs> mom, help. <laughs> he's like, he's dreading it because he's like, she's, she's going to stick her nose She's going to latch on to oh, this. Yeah. Like, I haven't shown any interest in getting married and then I go to her and be like, this belonged to a girl who is it? Because Violet's like, a matchmaker. She's going to be like, oh my gosh, you like a girl. Um, so she, um, she like tells him what family it is and it's the family. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. the Earl of... I forget his name. I can't remember. Uh, but Sophie's family. And he goes there. And he sees the two girls. And he's like, this is not her. No. No. Um, and at this point, maybe this is when she locks her in the closet. 
Maybe she doesn't lock her in the closet then. No, I think you're right. Yeah, that seems right. Yeah. She locks her in it because she saw that... Did she see the shoes? She saw scuff marks on the shoes, mm. and she's like, I know it was you. Yeah. And then she locks her in the closet, and that's when... when he comes by. When he comes by. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, and so he doesn't find her. No. And that was that. Yeah. And then she... Um, it's a two-year time jump. Yes, said. time jump. Yep. And then they're... I forget where they are then... Uh, I think it said that she, like, leaves and moves to London to be a maid. Yes. Yeah. She she sneaks out. Yeah. She sneaks out. She steals her... Um, oh, she's in trouble later. Yeah. She steals something of her stepmother's to, like, sell. Fund it? Yeah. Yeah, like, to pawn. Um, and she goes... And she goes out to the country where she is... She's going to go be a maid somewhere. Yeah. That's where we have the time jump. Yeah. To have the time jump, she's at that creep's house. Mm, also, right. can we talk about how, like, fucking creepy men just have always been? Always. I think it was probably worse back then because women had even less rights. I think it was. <laughs> were, like, it, less sounds, it sounds terrifying. It does. Like, it sounds, I mean, like, not that women were property. Yeah. And it's just like. You can't inherit anything. Yeah. Oh, it sounds awful. Women couldn't have credit cards until, like, the 80s here or something, like, too. Like a That's wild! No, yeah. That's fucking wild. Oh. Yeah. So, she's at, this is two years, two, it's two, two it's years. It's a two years, like, two year time jump. Two years time jump, mm-hmm. and they're at this house in the country, some, like, fucking nobili- nobility yeah. douche. Yeah. And Benedict's there. Yeah. And he's at this party. He doesn't like this guy. No. He's like, all his friends suck. These people suck. Mm-hmm. But for some reason, he's like, ah, oh, just getting out of the house. Um, Sophie's a maid at this estate. Mm-hmm. And she, um, the guy, basically like, technically she works for his parents, but you mm-hmm. know, he's like one of those entitled brats. Mm-hmm. And he's like making some moves. So she decides, she's like, I'm out of here. Yeah. So she's like, I'm out of here, and as she's leaving, like him and his friends corner her outside. Terrifying. Which is terrifying. terrifying. It's just like you're not safe anywhere. No. It's like it is. Which well, I'll get into like where I'm like, okay, yeah, I can see where other things in the book. I'm like, you know, I kind of get that. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's terrifying. And then Benedict breaks it up. Yeah, he does. He's, he's like, her. What, so what the fuck are y'all doing? Yeah. Um, and he's like. And he, like, legit just outright says, like, well, it looks to me like you're about to rape this girl. Yeah. And I'm like, good for you, Benedict. Call oh, these see people it. out. Yeah. Like, don't be around the bush. Um, and then she leaves with him. Mm-hmm. She's like, thank you. Um, my savior. Oh, my savior. And she recognizes him immediately, obviously. Of course. He does not recognize her. She's kind of, like, upset about it. So, this is my first question for this book. Yeah. Why can no one recognize people with masks on? <laughs> like, why? It's my favorite part of a Cinderella story. I know. Where it's, it's not even like, there's no time jump. No. It's the next day. It's the next day. She has the same exact hair. <laughs> same face. Same face. It's just same like, voice. It's this. It's literally like, <laughs> can you tell who I am? <laughs> you can't tell who I am. That is. It's, it, it it's doesn't make any blowing. sense. It like, really all is. All these people, it's been two years, but I'm like, you fell in love with this woman. Yeah. And you're like, I can't recognize her? Yeah. The only, um, the only time when it does make sense is in, like, some of the adaptations of Cinderella, like, um, uh, the Lily James one, and I think, like, the, the original one, like, they use magic, not for the guy, but for the people at the ball, like, to not recognize her. A gl- it's like a glamour. Yeah. That's the only time yeah. it's okay. In this a Cinderella is, story. It's not that time. It is not that okay. Is not that time. It is so like blatantly <laughs> obvious. It is. It is. I'm like, how do you Yeah. I, I it, it it's, it's laughable. It's so funny to me. It's laughable. It's so funny to me. Because you're like sh- it's just this. It's <laughs> just this. Same nose, same mouth. And it's same height, same hair, same voice. The voice, the voice is a big one. The voice is a big one. Yeah, but voices are very unique. They are. Like and again, if you're telling me you fell in love with this girl that and, night, and you didn't recognize her the next day, taking your order, <laughs> it's I can't. wild. You can't. It's wild. Yeah. 
Uh, the Cinderella story one is, it's the funniest it's to me. It's the funniest one. Because she's <laughs> literally taking his order the next day, and she's like, mm. There's this TikTok that I literally saw, like, this week, where it was, like, uh, you know, like, a friend, like, they're just, like, like hanging out, and they're yeah. like, he's like, I'm just trying to find this girl, and he's like, oh, yeah, like, so-and-so, it's like, you know her? Like, yeah, man, she was, she was in the mask last night, like, uh-huh. she's the girl at the diner, like, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean you don't recognize her? I was like, oh, what my God. What do you mean? Oh, it is. It's laughable. It is. But no, but he doesn't recognize her. I'm like, I feel like you should be able to recognize her. You should. I and mean, I think that's why she's upset. I would be upset as well. He's like, I, she's like, I thought we had this connection. You don't even recognize anything about me. Anything about me. Yeah. It's, Not even a vibe. Like, you look familiar. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. It makes no sense. No. It's just, I mean, you were, y'all were talking for probably like, at least an hour. Yeah. I'm like, how do you not And, like, he doesn't talk to that many girls, I feel like. No. You know what I mean? Like, he's, like, kind of, like, off on his own. How are you not recognizing her voice? Her vo- the voice is, like, a big thing. It's a big thing. Especially if like, you have, like, a very deep conversation. A very like, big moment together. Yeah. She's not putting on like, a fake voice for you. So, yeah. So, sorry. Continue. Oh, no, I wanted to good. interrupt there. Yeah. No, yeah, you're good. Um, so, they go. Let's see what my notes are. Um, <clears throat> he takes her to work at his mom's house, I think, right? Yeah, no, so they first, it starts to rain when they leave. Mm-hmm. Of course. I love a good rain scene. Um, it starts to rain, so he has a country house, like a small one. Small one? Small, it's probably massive. <laughs> yeah, it's probably massive, because it's called, like, my... Sh- it's not, it's, oh, it's like a, it's like a like, bungalow or something. Yeah. It's like huge, I think. But it's, it, but it's called, like, my something. Oh, let me just look in here. Oh, it has a name? Yeah, it's like My Cottage. That's what it is. Oh, a cottage. And it's definitely not Yeah, I think small. she's like, this is a cottage. This is not a cottage. <laughs> this is not a cottage. Yeah. Um, so they um, they get there, and he's sick. Oh, I did read that part, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's sick. And from, like, a storm or whatever. Cold. Also, like, people got, like, way, like, sick more easily back then. I'm like, if I got caught in the rain, I'd be like, yeah, this sucks. You'd catch your death. But I'm not going to catch my death. That's because we have modern medicine. I know, but I'm not going to get sick. Like, if I just, like, got caught in a rainstorm, I don't think I'm going to, like, get sick. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, like yeah, I'm going to be, like, wet and stuff, but I don't think I'm going to, like, catch something. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's I'm not going to be bedridden. But I also think... He was, like, immediately bedridden. He's also a man. Like, men do not handle sickness well. That they is... the man flu. That is so true. I'm weak. I'm dying. Help me. No, you're not. You don't even have a... Like temperature. a temperature. <laughs> like, pitiful, pitiful. Yeah, just calm down. Yeah. You have the sniffles. It's not like when what's thing gets malaria later. Right? <laughs> that, that I'll give you. I'll give you that. Give you malaria. I will give you malaria. Not the rain making you a little sick. <laughs> <laughs> Buck up, buttercup. Yes. Um, so yeah, they get to his cottage. He's sick. Um, his like house attendants aren't there. They're mm-hmm. like visiting their family. Mm-hmm. And so she's gotta take care of him. Um chaperoned. Yeah. Not chaperone. But it's like she, but it's like she's a maid. So it's yeah, like she's nobody. Yeah, she's nobody. So it doesn't matter. No. Um. So they, um. She takes care of him through the night. Mm-hmm. You know, he's all delirious, which is just like, how are you? That's my thing. It's like it happened so instantly. Like you were just caught out in the rain. Like what was going on? <laughs> Faking it. Yeah. So she takes care of him, um, through the night, and like he's okay in the morning. Yeah. They meet the, um. The crab trees, I think is their name. Mm. Like the the man and wife that run his cottage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot yeah. about them. Yeah, nice. my no- one of my notes is like, oh, I wanted her because he wants her to go back to London. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, oh, I wanted her to stay with the crab trees and just have them be her surrogate parents. Yeah, they were so sweet. They were, I remember them being sweet. Yeah, because he's like, you're not a maid here. You're my guest. Yeah. Um, and they. Basically, while they're there, they, like, he starts to like her. Yeah. Yeah, they start to fall, he starts to fall in love. Mm-hmm. I mean, she starts to fall in love, too. Um, so, they fall in love while they're at my cottage. Um, it's just, that's what it's called. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and this is when things start to get a little interesting, because she's like, I'm not going back. She's like, I can't go back to London. Mm-hmm. Like, my... You know, I got peeps there that I don't want to see. Oh yeah, yeah. They probably everyone probably, everyone goes to London for the mm-hmm. season. Yep. I'm sure that her set people will go. Yeah, and she's like, I'll go make it on my own. And he's like, obviously, it's too dangerous for you to do that. Mm-hmm. And he wants. This is when he like. This is when he gives her his offer. <laughs> this is the part. This that is I don't Chris, like. This is Chris's issue with the this book. This is my issue with the book. It's the core issue I have with it. It's That's just fair. like so upsetting. That's fair. That's fair. Um. 
I, I, I will say that's fair. I actually didn't realize that's why it's called that. And that makes you even more mad. Why would they? Why would they even after the one thing I hate? <laughs> they they even after the one thing I hate. <laughs> he he offers for her to be his mistress. He does. But I will say, I <laughs> like he doesn't at this point. He doesn't think that it's an option to marry her. It's an option to marry her. Yeah. Because it's like society. Yeah, society. And he doesn't. Even, he hasn't talked to his mom yet to be mm. like. Hey, can I do this? Yeah. Like, at, at this point, he's like, this isn't even an option for me to do this. Yeah. Because, like, you have to get licenses to marry. Yes. That's like, true. Like, you can't just, like, often... Go elope. Go elope. Which, is, to me, is, like, also... Which I know we have to technically get... A license. A license. license. But, like, yeah. in my mind, it's always just, like, a formality. But back then, they could deny you. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, nah. That's not okay. <laughs> yeah. I think, like, it's, it's not just, like, the offer. It's also, like... I just feel like the way he went about it was just so poorly done. Because, like, he wanted to sleep with her. Or he already had slept with her. No. Then it was like, I can't, like, like he wants to sleep with her. Or had they? I don't think I they don't did. remember. Maybe they kissed. Maybe. But he basically was, like, not wanting to sleep with her until they were, like, a, like an official mistress. Like. Oh, yeah. Like, as a position, basically. Yeah. Because they like, all take care of you, basically. Yeah. yeah. And, but, like, I also think that part of it was... Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I, just want you to... um, I think part of it was he saw like what happened at that person's house. And he just knows how unsafe. I think he, in any way, shape, or form, he wanted her to be safe to come with him to be safe. Because he's like, I just saw what was about to happen to you when I you were a woman just alone, alone, which is shouldn't be the case. <laughs> you shouldn't be like. That just says ton about their society. I know. Like, if you're a woman traveling alone, but that's like... Just... It was... I get that it was like a knee-jerk reaction for him to be like, mm -hmm. if I can convince her to be my mistress, she'll come with me to London. He'll, mm -hmm. She'll know I can protect her. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. I get that. And at this point, I think they're both like in love with each other. Yeah. They just won't admit it. Yeah. Which, to me, was what made this book better than the rest of them. Because... They loved each other before they got married. And every other one of the books, they have, like, this realization after they get married. And I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> it's like, they, like, kind of know, but they're like, I don't know. Well, it's because all the other ones were, like, on purpose, I feel like. They were they were out there to get married. Yeah, Like, Benedict's not looking to get married. Yeah. Like, He's like, I like her. Daphne was and... and uh, Anthony was yes. looking to get married. Yeah. So yeah. That's the difference, too. It's wild. And even, like, Collins, like, in the book, he's, like, he doesn't love her before. He's, like, you know, I like her and... He really cares for her. Yeah, but he doesn't tell her I love her before they yeah. get married. It's wild. That's yeah. why I think I'm, like, okay, well, they genuinely <laughs> both loved each other before they got married. Of course they do, because they're the only ones that are not all in society. And that's the society true. people are the problem. That's true. That's a good point. But he does end up convincing her. But I think she says that... Like, but he, she, says, she says no. She says no. But I think that he's, like, okay, I'll come be my mom's maid or something. Yes. He's, like, I can get you a position... In my mom's house as something, as yeah. like a maid or whatever. Yeah. And she's like, okay, I'll come. Yeah. So she comes, um, starts to work for his mom. Probably the best boss ever. Oh. Lady Bridgerton? I would love to work for Sign her. Me up. She'd be, she'd pay, pay you a good wage. She nice. would treat you nicely, like make sure you had like adequate time off. Yeah, 100%. She'd be a great, like, miss, like whatever. Mistress of the house? Mistress of the house. Yeah, I don't know what you call that. Mm -hmm. Um, So she starts to work for the Bridgertons. Um, Benedict's still, like, all in love with her. Yeah. And she's still like, no, I won't be your mistress. No. Which is good for her for standing up. Which is fair. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. She's standing up like, I'm not going to be this, which I think is also, like, good for you. And I also, like, thinking back on it, I feel like if you're saying that she knew that she was, like, like, she was raised noble until, like, her dad died. And he does not know this. Right, but I, I'm what I'm saying is like I think if she was like actually a maid through and through, uh, I think she actually probably would have caved. I think that that's like fair. I think that she was brought up with no a, with more of a sense of herself. Yeah, and like she saw herself as more. She's like I don't deserve better than this. Than I just deserve to be somebody's wife. Yes, but I think that if she had been truly just like. A nobody made. She's like, yeah, this is probably as good as I'm gonna get. Yeah, I really think it would be different. That's fair. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. 
Um, so she starts with the British and she loves them. Of course, she doesn't. Like she's Ooh, like she's very much friends with them. Lady Bridgerton like lets her take tea with them, Aww. which is so nice. Yeah, because I think Lady like Bridgerton can she like tell that she's a little bit more highbrow than she? Yeah, should be? she like she knows something. She's up. clocking something. She knows something mm-hmm. is up. Um, and then yeah, what's your thing say? That happens after she like gets there and um, I think there's another. If I have that, um, he asks about marrying a maid. He asks his mom, like, if he, does. he can do that. Yeah. And he doesn't say Sophie's name. Yeah. Um, but Mama Bridgerton's smart. Yeah. she. He's like, can I do this? Because he still wants... Because if he could, he would marry her. Yeah. He just, like, doesn't know his options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's basically like, I'll love you whatever you do. Yeah. Whatever... Because she... And this is... I feel... And I, I like that they stay true to this in the, the TV show, too. And in all the books. Like, she just wants her kids to, like, have love matches. Mm-hmm. Like, whatever... Like, you know... But love who you love. Yeah, exactly. Because she, like, loved her husband so much. Mm-hmm. She's like, if you love a maid, go for it. Yeah. Um, that's what she tells him. And that's the thing, too, is, like, you're not the first son. Like, you're, like, not Anthony. So exactly. Yeah. And, like, they're Bridgerton's, like... Their they're, name carries weight. Their name carries weight. It's not like you... Maybe Joe Schmo couldn't marry a maid, but you could. Yeah. Like, you carry enough weight to... You're gonna bring her up. Mm-hmm. She's not gonna bring you down. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's what his mom tells him. Yeah. And then, um, I think that, like, the next part here is, like, him... They're running to, like, the... Yeah. The family. Yeah. So... Well, she sees her sister, mm-hmm. and like, um, she like tries to hide. Yeah, but her her the nice sister. Yeah, sees her, and now she's freaking out. Mm-hmm. She's like crap, but she's like hoping that she keeps her mouth shut. Yes. Um, and then, they, her, but they do find out, and they try to get her arrested. They arrest her. Yeah, for stealing, stealing whatever she stole. Mm-hmm. So she's in jail. <laughs> she's in jail. She's in, <laughs> a hardened criminal. She's in jail. Her, like, stepmother comes to visit her and just like, ha-ha, I got you. <laughs> yeah. Total bitch. Yeah. Because um, I think the daughter, like, let it... I think she, like, un, in, in, unintentionally yeah. let it slip. Um, And then um, her, so her stepmom's in there. And then Benedict rolls up Come and through. it's like, this is... Um, he's like, this is my fiancé? I don't remember. Yeah. Is that how he gets her out? Yes. So. Oh, good for you, Benedict. Or he says, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no. Um, my thing did say that Posey took credit for stealing the thing in the end. Yes, Posey's with him because I think she went and got, like, got them. Yeah, but Posey says that she's the one that stole the thing. And then the solicitor's like, well, we can't hold her. Yeah, so they must let her out. Yeah. Um, oh, man, I can't remember. But he, like, claims that she's. When he comes there at first... Maybe it doesn't matter, then that's why Posey has to admit, like, has to, like, say that she yeah. stole it. Um, dang. Where's it at? Where'd she go to jail? Dang. He comes in there, he's like, you're my fiancé. Mm-hmm. I think, or I don't think he's his wife. No, because you'd have to get that license and stuff. Yeah. Um, he might, he probably does that and tries to get her out that way, and it probably doesn't work. Yeah, it's like, how dare you? And then Posey has to be like... I stole it. Yeah. And so they let her out. Um, she tries to leave again, doesn't she? Or does she not? Maybe? Uh, I can't remember now. Hold on. Um, hold on. They find out about the whole dowry thing, though. And that's who she is. Wait, what? They found out about the dowry and who she is, though, at the end. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember how it goes down. I can't remember how it goes down either. Um, I did one of these. Uh, well, it's like I wrote down a page number. Hold on, let me find it. <laughs> Pass Spencer. Pass Spencer, what were you? What were you thinking? What were you thinking? Yeah, they find out about the dowry. Mm-hmm. Um, like he finds out like who she is. And, which, you know... What a happy ending because she's not a maid, so it's not a thing. It wor- I mean, it worked out. It's yeah. like, oh, yeah, you can get married. You are and it's fine. Yeah. 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 I mean, it did work out for him in the yeah. end. Yeah. Um, and then, oh, yeah. Oh, it says she wasn't likely to have children of her own. Oh, this is what it was. She wasn't likely to have children of her own, and that was one of the saddest realizations she's ever had. Children required a husband, and marriage seemed like a pipe dream. And I think I said, I can relate, Sophie. <laughs> 
Like, damn. Speak the truth. Speak the truth. She's, the truth. she's like 20 at that point. Right. Yeah. Um, so, he, they, and then they just live happy ever after. Yeah. 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 Good. Good for them. Good for them. Happy and I them. think, oh, Posey moves in with the Bridgertons. Oh. Or the, something like the that. The one nice girl. Yeah, she, she doesn't live with her mom anymore. That's good. I forgot if she lives with the Bridgertons or either she, but. Benedict. Or with Benedict. And yeah, so or, or maybe they're because they moved back to my cottage and they yeah. like stay there a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, and I yeah. haven't read the extended. In case you spoil yourself. In case I spoil yeah. myself, That's so fair. I haven't read that. That's fair. Um, it's usually just like about them having kids. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, so sweet. Yeah, it was sweet. It was nice. I like that the stepmother didn't get away with it. Yes. Um, so my big question for you is: You love Benedict. What are your hopes for Benedict's season in the TV show? <sighs> I have a lot of, like, apprehension. We hope, we're hoping Benedict's season is next. It better be. <laughs> He's gonna get old. Yes. Like, no offense to that actor. How old is he in real life? I think he's definitely younger than uh, Nicola. Well, she's She's 37, yeah. yeah. Um, but he, I think he deserves his due time. Yeah. Because he is such a good character in the not in the third season, his his plot line in the third season, I was just like, oh, guys. If they were just biding his time, they were just they did it. It there was no substance. There was nothing about his art. Like it was just about him and that lady. He's thirty six. Okay. Um. Yeah. I didn't like it. No. And I'm gonna be really mad if like if they. Um, and I don't, like, it's not true to this story, but, like, if for some reason they make any type of, like, love triangle with, like, him, her, and, like, a guy. Oh. Because, like, apparently he's bisexual in the, he's now bisexual in the TV show. Mm hmm So I'm like, don't do that to Sophie. Yeah, I Don't give like, them another obstacle. Don't give them another obstacle. Well, no, I feel like he's exploring whatever he's exploring, and then, like, he'll come. Yeah. Because, like, his whole last conversation with that lady, I didn't like her either. Um, she was so old. <laughs> she was old. Like, no offense, but, like, and I think it was a lot of, like, how they made her look. Yeah, like, they made her up to be, like. They made her up to look like a, like a straight his, up. Like his mom. Yeah. His mom and issues. Yeah. But I think that, her. like, at the end when she was, like, I'm ready to try us, like, being together. And he's, like, no. Like, I think I'm, like, I want to, like, explore things. Yeah. But I think that's going to be the whole thing for him is, like. He'll have to like be ready to settle down, and like he'll settle down with Sophie. Yeah, it, his season better be the next season. Yeah, I'm gonna be so mad if it's not. If it's Eloise or Francesca, I'm gonna be like, I think that Francesca will have to have some time with her husband. That's true. Before they some kill him off. Yeah, some years have to pass. Yeah, that's fair. yeah. So we'll be, I think we should be safe, but not with her. Yeah. Um, and I feel like because Eloise is up there with him, with her, like we'll probably get some like them hanging out up there. Oh we'll yeah. Get Benedict season. That's true. Yeah, I really hope that they just keep it out of the Cinderella retelling and not tweak it too much. I think with the core of it, they'll have to. Like, that's just my hope. Yeah. Especially after all the feedback they've gotten from this season, I feel like they'll have to... Because it was such dog crap. Change some things. Yeah. Um, I just hope they have screen time. Yeah. That's the biggest question. I mean, he, he might get more screen time, or he got a lot of screen time this season. Yeah, that's true. So... Yeah. I hope he's just... I just... I don't know. I like... He's very likable in the book. Mm -hmm. Like... I like him in the show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, but, like, just talking of the books, mm -hmm. like, I didn't like Daphne that much mm -hmm. in the book. She was just kind of like... I liked her better in the show. Yeah. But I like his character. I like him both. Mm -hmm. Like, he's one of the ones where I'm like, oh, yeah, I like him in yeah. both of them. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Okay. But, yeah. I'm excited for it in the, you know, however... Two years. Two years it takes to... Away. It's also like people in an uproar about. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's wild. But cheers to Yeah, who are we choosing to? I'm gonna cheers to Posey. To Posey. Yes. yes. I do like her. What a good stepsister. Mm. Real one. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's all she wrote. Peace.